Hey everyone, Traveler here, and I need to talk about something that is getting a lot of hate right now. About me! Um, a lot of people uh, saw a video a year ago where I kind of talked about Star Wars, The Old Republic, and how... It, by the way, if you don't know what it is, it's an MMO based in the Star Wars universe that a lot of people are excited about. It's coming out soon. It's by BioWare. You know, we're all excited. We're all very, very excited for this. <laughs> but um, the video that I made a year ago was about uh, a leaker, a guy who leaked uh, details about it, and his name was E.A. Laos. He, he basically wrote up a WordPress blog, kind of uh, a tell-all, about how the game was not shaping up to be very much, like how they're putting so much money and resources into the voice acting. Um, and, you know, voice acting is great. It's, uh, it's really awesome and critical to have in a role-playing game. So, you know, it would make perfect sense to add it to a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, right? Well, we'll see. Um, I don't want to make any more people angry about this because, uh, as I checked, a lot of people didn't like the fact that I kind of agreed with the guy. But, you know, it's never really been done before, I don't think, has it? Uh, you know, awesome dialogue in an MMO might be really good. I don't think it will be. I still kind of stand by what I said a year ago, and that is that I just don't really see people getting too... getting so excited that they crap their pants because, you know, instead of picking up 12 servo arms for the village to help them, you can, like, kill 12 people that are collecting servo arms for the village to be evil and get evil points. I mean, it's still basically the same kind of quest. It's just, you know, you can do one good thing and one evil thing. And I just don't think that it's going to be as good as uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which was a single-player game. It's not going to be as rich, I don't think. I think it's going to lose some of the appeal when you see that there's 40 other people also collecting servo arms because they are also the heroes that are going to save the village or possibly you know, destroy it or whatever. In an MMO, you're in a different kind of mindset, and that's kind of like you're at a race to get to max level, to max out your points, to beat other players. I'm a PvPer, so maybe that's what's wrong with me. Maybe I don't feel like this game is going to be very PvP friendly. Before you say that I'm not a fan of the Star Wars games at all, I'll, I'll let you know that I'll have you know, mister, I was a fan of X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. I, I saw that this game is having space combat. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, not a lot of people are talking about it, though, so they didn't tell you to grab your joystick. You're going to be, you know, Han Solo. <laughs> I, I just don't really feel like it's going to be so awesome that, you know, you're going to be spending the entire game in outer space, you know, defending planets and stuff like that. So. That's out of the question. Uh, Jedi Knight was a great game. Uh, Jedi Academy, fun. Uh, a lot of time... I spent countless hours dueling people online because you could duel with lightsabers. It's awesome and use force powers and, you know, push people off, off cliffs and stuff like that. That's definitely not going to be in this MMO. I mean, that was like some of the best times in the Star Wars universe was, you know, force grabbing and throwing people off cliffs. You think that's gonna happen? No, because, you know, my immersion! I got killed in like two seconds. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff that was really fun with Star Wars for me. Um, nice of the Old Republic. The dialogue, you know, you, you make some pretty big changes. But there's also hundreds and hundreds of people that you're gonna see running around doing the exact same stuff. You're not gonna care. Anything, uh, uh, what? The only things you're going to care about in the dialogue is getting as quickly as possible to the good option, to accept the quest for the good option, or to accept the quest for the evil option, I feel like. I haven't played the game in forever, so I may be just totally wrong, but um, I don't think that I am. I don't think that I need to play this game in beta to, to kind of be brought up to speed since the year that I made that video. 
And you may be saying, Traveler, you're a dick. But maybe I am. I don't know. I'm gonna get the game when it comes out. I'm not gonna buy the collector's edition because I'm not a sucker. I don't think that it's gonna be worth the money. I think you should probably just buy a lightsaber that lights up and makes sound effects and you'll probably have, you know, spent your money more wisely than paying a bunch of money for a book and like a couple extra items and stuff like that because I don't think that a lot of you are going to be playing the game six months after release and that's truly going to demonstrate whether or not this game is awesome is uh, it's not about how many people buy it at the very beginning it's about how many people stick with it and see hey this game is better than World of Warcraft because let's face it People who play MMOs know that that is kind of the best game out there right now. And love it or hate it, that's a fact. It's just that a lot of people are saying that this game is a weaker World of Warcraft clone is what angers me. And it's not the people that are saying that. I'm not going to get mad at them for stating their opinions that are probably true. It's just that it's kind of uninspired to do that. Like, you're never going to beat World of Warcraft at trying to be World of Warcraft. I don't know, I've talked about this for, for too long, but I do stand by what I said before. If you'd like to see the video, check it out. Uh, it's right here. You can click, or it's in the more info, either one. Um, just let me know what you think. Let's start a dialogue. Um, I'm making a video every day, so tomorrow I'm going to be talking about something completely different, not Star Wars MMO uh, nonsense. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.